Good day everyone, we are a group of students from My Dynamics and we are here to present our group project entitled Projectile Motion DIY Catapult. But before that, let us first know what projectile motion is. Well, projectile motion is the motion of an object thrown or projected into the air, subject to only the acceleration of gravity. The object thrown is called a projectile, while its path is called the trajectory. Now that you know what projectile motion is, let's start making our catapult. In making our catapult, we will need popsicle sticks, rubber bands, plastic bottle, glue gun, glue sticks, and paint. Now let's get into action! Steps in making the catapult We start by combining four popsicle sticks using a rubber bands. And then we made a triangle-shaped popsicle sticks. Then we're gluing it together using a glue gun. By the way, you will need 11 popsicle sticks and 16 rubber bands to make this catapult work. After we glue them together, we made a slingshot structure using a plastic bottle cup. When we finished making the catapult, we made a base using a 1x1 one one styro to hold the catapult. After we paint it all in blue, we put a title called Catapult Projectile Motion using a white paint. And here's the final result! Now that we are done making our catapult, let's now put it on the test. Experiment like right now! For this experiment, we will need projectiles which are popcorn kernel, small pebbles, 25 centavos, skittles, and ventus. Steps in doing the experiment First, we start by launching the popcorn kernel with an angle of 10 degrees. And then, we're measuring it using a ruler. Next, we're launching the popcorn kernel with an angle of 40 degrees. And then, we're measuring it using a ruler. Lastly, we launch the popcorn kernel again with an angle of 80 degrees. And then, we're measuring it using a ruler. Next is the mentos. We are launching the mentos with an angle of 10 degrees. And then, we're measuring it using a ruler. Next, we launch the mentos with an angle of 40 degrees. And then, we're measuring it using a ruler. Lastly, we launch the mentos with an angle of 80 degrees. And then, we're measuring it using a ruler. Next is the 25 centavos. We launch the 25 centavos with an angle of 10 degrees. And then we're measuring it using a ruler. We launch the 25 centavos again with an angle of 40 degrees. And then we're measuring it using a ruler. Lastly, we launch the 25 centavos with an angle of 80 degrees. Next, we're launching the skittles with an angle of 10 degrees. Next, we launch the skittles with an angle of 40 degrees. And then, we're measuring it using a ruler. Lastly, we launch the skittles with an angle of 80 degrees. And then, we're measuring it using a ruler. The next one is the small pebbles. We launch the small pebbles with an angle of 10 degrees. And then we're measuring it using a ruler. Next, we launch the small pebbles with an angle of 40 degrees. And then we're measuring it using a ruler. Lastly, we launch the small pebbles with an angle of 80 degrees. And then we're measuring it using a ruler. Now that we are done with our experiment, it's now time to show you the results of it. These are the results of the different trials we made. In the three trials we did, the popcorn kernel traveled 43, 96, and 141 inches, therefore making its average range of 141 inches. In the 25 centavos, we got 24, 56, 
and 103 in the three trials, making its average range of 103 inches. Next is the small pebble that got 59, 120, 153 from our three trials, making its average range of 152 inches. Second to the last, we have skittles, and we also did three trials with this one, which gave us 23, 130, 167 as its initial range, making its average range of 167 inches. And lastly, we have lentas. 83, 99, and 135 are the ranges we got from the two trials we made, making its average range of 135 inches. In this video, we successfully made a working DIY catapult. We also tested our catapult with different projectiles to throw, getting various average ranges from it. The average ranges we got are 141 inches from the popcorn kernel. We also have 103 inches from the 25 centavos. Next, we have 153 inches from the small pebble. Then, we have 167 inches from the skittles. And lastly, we have 135 inches from the Mentos. And that concludes our video project. We hope you learned something from us and have fun watching us. Again, we are a group of students from My Dynamics and thank you for watching! For this experiment, <laughs> well, projectile motion is the. Wait, no, no, no. I love. Thank you.